the Sabres tonight in honor of one of the greatest players in franchise history. Good evening, I'm Kendra Eaglin. And I'm Keith Radford. This is a special edition of Eyewitness News at 11 tonight. Buffalo's famous French Connection lost its first member today. 59-year-old Rick Martin, former Sabres forward and Hall of Famer, died in a car crash after suffering what police believe was some sort of medical emergency. I heard a bang, heard another bang. I really didn't know what it was, and I just... You know, I didn't really think anything of it until I heard sirens. Melissa O'Grady lives around the corner from where 59-year-old hockey legend Rick Martin crashed his car on Main Street in Clarence at 12.15 Saturday afternoon. I went upstairs and looked out the bedroom window, and you can just see flashing lights everywhere. This is where the accident happened. Witnesses say they saw Martin driving slumped over, possibly with his eyes closed, before he struck a utility pole and then struck the cement partition before coming to a stop. Two passerbys, concerned citizens, were rendering first aid CPR. One of those good Samaritans happens to be a firefighter who lives directly across the street from where the crash happened. He declined to talk to us on camera, but says he performed CPR on Martin until paramedics arrived. Martin was rushed to Miller Fillmore Suburban Hospital, where he died minutes later. The trooper in the two good Samaritans that stopped all knew um, Rick previous to the accident personally. So it takes a toll, as, as it always does. It takes a toll, especially you never want to see a loss of human life. The sudden loss taking everyone by surprise. Although she heard the crash and saw the aftermath of the collision, O'Grady didn't find out who was behind the wheel until hours later. We all start crying and they're like, we got to find out what happened. And I get online and look it up and, you know, it said right here on Main Street by Salt Road. And I was like, oh my God, that's the crash I heard. Now, authorities tell Eyewitness News tonight an autopsy is going to be performed tomorrow to try and determine Martin's exact cause of death. And there were plenty of heavy hearts in downtown Buffalo this afternoon. Only hours after the news broke, the Sabres took to the ice against Ottawa. The team honored number seven before tonight's game. Channel 7 Sports Director Jeff Russo here now with more on what happened today. Yeah, really a sad day for the Sabres and really the hockey world. Those who knew Rick Martin well call the former Sabres great tonight. A fantastic hockey player, but even a better person. Martin, of course, played left wing on the Sabres' most famous line, the French Connection, and is being remembered tonight as one of the most successful and popular players in team history. Martin, drafted by the Sabres back in 1971, selected fifth overall, went on to play in close to 750 games for the Sabres from 1971 to 1981. He was a seven-time All-Star selection and the first player in franchise history to score 50 or more goals when he tallied 52 during the 1974-1975 campaign. Now, Martin made his home in Akron and was recently reunited with his French connection line mates just a couple weeks ago when he joined Gilbert Perot and Rennie Robert on the ice at the arena to welcome in new Sabres owner Terry Pagula. Here's a look at Martin's career numbers with the Sabres. 743 total games, including 62 in the postseason. Had 681 regular season goals, and entering this season, still remain in the top three in seven of the Sabres' career leaders' categories. Now, the Sabres released this statement on the passing of Martin earlier today, saying the Buffalo Sabres are saddened to announce the passing of Buffalo Sabres Hall of Famer and member of the famed French connection, Rick Martin. Rick was not only one of the greatest players in franchise history, also a great friend of the Sabres organization and the entire community. The thoughts and prayers of the entire organization go out to his wife and two sons. As we mentioned, it was only a couple of weeks ago when Martin rejoined his French Connection line mates on the ice for a ceremony to welcome in Terry Pagula to the franchise. Gilbert Perot was also on hand back on February 23rd. I caught up with the Sabres great tonight on the phone from his home in Quebec. Perot says he found out about Martin's passing from René Robert and was actually watching the French Connection ceremony this morning prior to hearing the sad news. This morning around 11.30 I was watching the, uh, the ceremony there at, uh, with Mr. Pegula there and with my younger son and two hours after that I heard uh, Rennie called me and said that Rick passed away so I couldn't believe it. We were really happy we had a lot of fun you know and everything and, uh, and when we went on the ice you know it was, uh, didn't know what it was going to be for the last time you know. It was, uh, he was a tremendous hockey player. He had that quick release, and uh, he knew what uh, the net was. Well, Farrow says he remembers plenty of great times with Martin after playing on the same line for seven years together. Word of Martin's passing quickly spread to the HSBC Arena. Our Sean Stepner was there for tonight's win that the Sabres dedicated in Martin's honor. We lost a heck of a guy today. 
Sabres head coach Lindy Ruff knew Rick Martin in many capacities. The two first met when Ruff was drafted by the franchise in 1979. He was a teammate. He was uh, somebody I worked with uh, as part of the coaching staff. Somebody I played golf with. Um, he was a great person. Uh, a real good person. Ruff, owner Terry Pagula, and other former players remembered the man they called Rico before Sunday's game. That's tough. He was always laughing. I, I never saw him when he wasn't smiling. I'm just thinking of all the good years he had in front of him here with our new owner. Things uh, to look forward to. So, God bless you, Richard. We'd love to go. A pregame tribute and lengthy moment of silence preceded the contest against Ottawa. One man who has been with the Sabres franchise since its inception is equipment man Rip Simonic, who, after Sunday's win over the Ottawa Senators, was visibly emotional when remembering his longtime friend. Rico was probably one of the best players they ever had. As a person, as a player, he loved hockey, he loved golf, he loved his family, and he loved the people around him. There's one thing that he would have wanted is, is us to go out there and play hard and, um, and, and get a win. And I thought uh, we responded pretty well. And a touching salute following the team's victory as players skated to center ice and pointed their sticks toward Martin's retired number seven. At HSBC Arena, Sean Stepner, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.